But uh, before our youth, uh, I really want to let you know that you all are the key players in this thing. You all are the key players in this. You are the key players in this. And the reason why you're key is because you're the ones that's going to carry the mantle. Amen. You're going to carry the torch. When we look at this current generation, when I was growing up, uh, Pastor Miller, what they would say is they would say we were the crack babies. That's it. That's it. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Listen, I just love Washington Heights. It's okay. Uh, when, when I was growing up, they said this is the crack baby era. The era for our youth, this is the Molly baby era. And listen to me, I believe that there's greatness on the inside of all of us. Yeah. And when we see our youth and our adults acting less than God has placed in them, it's because they don't know their identity. Right. Right. Amen. I believe that our identity is made up of three components. Number one is humanity, for we're all humans. Number two is divinity, because we're coming from the spirit of God. Right. And number three is royalty. Yes, because yes. we are of a royal bloodline. Yes. If you know your royalty, can you give your God a hand clap of praise? Yes. 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 Listen, we are stronger together. Yes, we are stronger together. Yes. One of the biggest things that's going on in our city right now is crime. Yes. And I believe in fighting crime by fighting poverty. Uh -huh. uh, just like Pastor Miller was just saying, Joseph was in Egypt, and he was still prospering in slavery. Yeah. Joseph was in Egypt, and he was still prospering in prison. Yeah, that's right. And basically, when you know who you are in God, you don't allow your circumstance to dictate to you. You can dictate to your circumstance. Yeah. Yeah. And I believe that we can shake up this city. The Bible talks about how two men turn the city upside down. Yeah, that's right. I believe based on their understanding of who God is and how God was operating, that was their semantics. That was their, their sentence structure. Uh -huh. But what I believe is that basically what they were doing, they were turning the city right side up. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. And I believe that we're able to turn this city right side up. Amen. We're dealing with the era when I'm looking at IEPs and children with different uh, learning disabilities. I read an IEP. The IEP said, uh, IEP is an individual education plan. Right. Pastor, the IEP said uh, intellectually disabled. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. wow. Well, yeah, that, that makes it a whole lot easier, but, but that don't mean that you want to give them extra tutoring. That doesn't mean that you want to give them extra work. That doesn't mean that you want to give them an intervention reading specialist or an intervention math specialist. Right. What that means is that now the school is able to calculate on more dollars, right. but not necessarily going to provide more services. Right. Wow. So what happens is we got a bunch of well-able bodies with no marketable skills. Right. But with your help, we're able to say, listen, if the school didn't give you something, we're going to give you a trade. Yes, so that way we don't have to worry about our daughters selling themselves on golf field. We don't have to worry about our mothers yeah. selling themselves on Pearl Street. Yeah. We don't have to worry about our sons pushing narcotics off of Main Street. Yeah. 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 I want to see us turn this city right side up. Yeah. They say, how you do it? You do it when you have a, when you have a port city. It does not require a college degree to be able to break down a container. It does not require a college degree to be a merchant seaman. It does not require a college degree to be a longshoreman. I want to see our young people shift from picking up handguns to pick up a nail gun and let's rebuild this city. Don't pick it up, want to put it down. Listen, we're dealing with an era in a community where when you look at leading the state, our children lead the state of Florida when it comes to sexually transmitted diseases. Oh Our city leads the state of Florida when it comes to teenagers uh, when it comes to pregnancies. Mm -hmm. We have to shift the narrative. Yes, sir. We need elected officials that are connected and committed to our communities, yes. that are connected and committed, co committed to, to our elders, that are yes. connected and committed to our youth. Yes. Our youth are our greatest assets. Yes, sir. Listen, every time I hear somebody say, Pastor, well, you know college ain't for everybody. All right, I'm going to close with this one. <laughs> in fifth grade, I couldn't read. We got any educators in here? Any teachers in here? One. We got any other educators? Two. Can we? Three. Can we clap it up for all of our educators, please? Last year, I was um, awarded Black Melon Education by Black Men Walking Incorporated. Mm. 
And when I looked up educator, educator does not necessarily put information in you. An educator is able to pull greatness out of you. Yes, sir. Amen. They're able to pull greatness out of you. In fifth grade, I could not read. When you look at projections for private prisons, projections for private prisons typically go on the reading level of young black males in third and fourth grade. Well, in fifth grade, I couldn't read. Come on. So what my teacher, Ms. Tony Pillen, did was she called my mama in and said, listen, I can't promote him because if I promote him, I'll be doing him a disservice yeah, right. because he's Real not teacher. ready. Real right. teacher. What I did, I started breaking down crying. I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ms. Pillen, you said where there is a will, there's a way. Right, amen. <laughs> I'm willing to do whatever it takes, but I got to pass. You got to pass, yes, sir. So this is what she did. She committed to tutoring me every day after school and reading for free. Yeah, that's all right. And knowing that my mother had challenges and struggles, she made sure I had a ride home, too. All right. Yeah. That's good stuff. That's good teacher. That's right. Now, I struggle in what grade? Yeah. Yeah. Now, I got a bachelor's degree in elementary education. From Elwood Waters College, where I graduated senior class president. Come on. Wow. Okay. Wow. And, and, and brother, what do y'all, what, what's your name, brother? Willie. Brother Willie. Yeah. This is the testimony. My last class to graduate from college was student teaching. You don't pick the school, you don't pick the subject, you don't pick the grade. My last course before I can graduate from college with my degree. The department chair chose S.P. Livingston, fifth grade reading. Wow. 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 I had to prove that I could teach something that I once struggled wow, with. I don't know where musicians at, but that's where you're like, boom, boom. <laughs> so when I hear people say college ain't for everybody, no, the Department of Juvenile Justice Ain't for, for everybody. everybody. When I say when I hear people say college ain't for everybody, no, you mean private prisons ain't for everybody. When I hear people say college ain't for everybody, no, what you mean is juvenile detention centers ain't for everybody. But I believe that God's abundance and God's grace and God's favor and God's children is for who? Everybody. My name is Deshaun Nixon, I'm running for City Council District 7. Thank you for this opportunity. God bless you.